By 2018, 63% of all jobs will require some form of post-secondary education or training. That's a huge increase since the mid-1970s, when less than 30% of jobs required anything beyond a high school education. For virtually every major job category, more post-secondary education is critical to job success. For example, in the 1970s, only 30% of office workers had some type of post-secondary education. Today, nearly 70% of office workers have some post-secondary education, with 40% of those having at least a bachelor's degree. More post-secondary education is needed for factory jobs, with the growth of advanced manufacturing techniques, for natural resource jobs, for jobs in healthcare and education, and most of the other major job categories. So I believe that the needs of individuals are the real reason we need to increase higher education attainment. The flip side of increasing opportunity for those with post-secondary education is that we're seeing opportunities for those without a credential rapidly evaporate. Indeed, we're now witnessing for the first time in American history the fact that the dividing line between the middle class and the working poor has become completion of some form of post-secondary education. Where I live in Indiana, it's as clear as day. The solid middle class manufacturing jobs that high school graduates could get have disappeared and they are not coming back. So for these and many other reasons, uh, I, I think it's very important to understand why we at Lumina Foundation have embraced this idea of this big goal of 60% high quality degree attainment by 2025. 